amazing to be back at the comedy store all these years later. I'm going through a breakup next week. <laughs> My boyfriend tried to talk <laughs> on that joke. He came up to me and was like, I don't like that joke. I was like, well, a little awkward. It's not about you. <laughs> the first time I went on stage at the comedy store, I cried. The light is right on you. Like a dagger. This hurts so much. Why do I stay? I don't think that there's a building that has affected culture more than the store. The comedy store. I grew up here my whole life. Is this the coolest place? Think about Just it. Just miss making people happy. It has to be poor and sick. Please happy. Can I work at Witch or something? Any comic that ever inspired me all worked here. Richard, Woody Goldberg, Bill Burr, Robin, Jim Carrey, Michael Keaton, Chappelle, Letterman, Lano, Hannison. This lineup is nuts. Anybody had one path into entertaining. One woman, Mitzi Shore, to make those decisions. Mitzi really taught me about comedy. If you made her laugh, <laughs> you knew you were in. She goes, nobody wants to follow you. I go, well, isn't that their problem? This became the hottest place in the world. Every night, somebody was getting discovered. If you were successful, the next stop was The Tonight Show. I can't stay long. I'm in between meals, so bear with me. There had been this migration of class clowns. That would not have happened without this room. Talk about that. Didn't I just? <laughs> <laughs> the place is magical. I've wanted this forever. This was a beam to infinite space. It's what unites a whole bunch of us. Our time at the Comedy Store. You know this place is haunted, right? I've heard that, actually. Yeah, my career died here about 10 years ago. <laughs> so.